Hey guys, what's up? My name is Ronan Fico and in this video we're going to learn about the new Power Apps. The Power Apps, code apps, where you can write code like this one. I can, for example, insert emojis here and see all the React and TypeScript running at Power Platform. So cool, right? So let's understand a little bit more about it and how to start your own project. So basically to start the Power Apps code apps, you need to clone this repository and edit the project. There is no other way right now, maybe in the future will be an easier way like uh, directly at the Power Platform command line. But right now we need to clone the repository and start to edit. If you do not understand anything that I said, basically you have to have installed your VS code. So I'm not going to record that. So please download the VS code and install it. After that, the step number two is to install the GitHub. So just open the, the VS code and click right here and install the GitHub. And after that, you will be able to use the GitHub at the terminal. The third step, you need to install the Power Platform command line interface. With this command, PAC, we are able to connect to the Power Platform, manage solutions, manage environments. So it's a command line interface where we can use it at the terminal, okay? For that, just right at the Google Power Platform, click, you're going to see right here, the official one, and install the Visual, Visual Studio Code extension. It's easier, okay? After installing, you can click download, okay? Click and download and run it. Next, 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 uh, like you did on the VS Code. So here's it. And after that, you're going to install the node to use NPM. The node is required to install the dependencies. So we need to have nodes so we can call the NPM from terminal, install those dependencies. So basically, I'm, I'm not going to record that because all of this, you just need to download and install it. Okay, so download the VS Code, run the GitHub at the VS Code, download the, the Power Platform CLI, download the node JS and install on your Windows. After that, we, we can go uh, directly to the VS Code and as we have the Git, right now we have the Git, you can see here that I am already on the folder that we just created. And now I'm going to run the command from Git. Git clone this repository to our folder. So I'm going to hit enter and here's it. We can see all the files in our windows. Next step here is to go inside the Power Apps Code apps because we are here, we're going to change directory. So let's go. S change directory, Power Apps Code apps. Here is it. I'm inside the Power Apps Code apps. Okay. We are right here. And what we need to do now is to connect at our terminal to the tenant and environment that we want to to publish the app, right? So for that, I'm, I'm here, let me show you. I have more than one environment, right? I'm going to choose an environment that I want to use. In my case, I'm going to use this one. This is a developer environment. I'm going to copy the ID of the environment and I'm going to call the PAC. That is the power platform clean the command line from power plan. So I'm using this to connect to the tenant and the right environment. So I'm going to use PAC, take a look, of create. So create an authentication to this environment, environment right here. So basically I'm going to open a pop-up where a dialogue actually where I can log into my account. I just selected my account. I'm logged in and here's it. Everything is okay. So the first step that we did here is to clone the repository to our windows and connect to the tenant and also the environment. So I, here with this command, we connected directly to the environment. Okay. The next step is to install the dependencies. But before that, we need to change something on the environment. That is uh, a must that you need to do. 
so we can run the code app. So before going to the next step, the third step here, you need to ask for the admin, or if you are a uh, admin, you need to change a setting on the environment. And for that, go to manage, go to the environments, select that the environment that you're going to use the code app, go to settings, product, features, and you need to enable the code apps. It's a preview feature. So you need to go here and enable the Power Apps code apps. Okay, so enable that to change to on, save it to save. You need to click this button. This is a, a important thing to, to show you because uh, I already forgot to click save. So you need to click save here. Now it's save it. Let's go back to the third step where we're we going to install the dependencies and publish our app. Okay, so going back to the third step, we're going to use the npm install. So take a look here. We are using the npm to install the dependencies from our project. So if you do not understand that, basically we are here at this folder. When we run the npm install, he's going to search for the package JSON and install the dependencies. So we, we, we do not have here these packages on this folder because the dependencies is at the apps, the solutions. So we need to change again the folder. We need to go to the samples, to the hello world being specifically, this is the app that I'm going to publish to see it. So I'm going to change directory again, change directly to samples slash slash uh, hello world. Let me zoom in here. So I'm here at this folder right now, and I'm going to run the command npm install again. So the npm install going to, I'm, I'm right here guys, I'm right here at the terminal. He's going to find the package.json and install the dependencies of the project right here. You can see it right here. So when I hit enter, take a look, the dependencies, is being downloaded and installed. Okay, we did the third step. Now we need to run the, the Power Platform command. The Power Platform command is code in it. This is a new command, okay? So pack have a lot of commands. Take a look here. We can uh, list apps, we can connect to environment, move solutions, a lot of things can be done by the command line interface. But what we're going to use right now is the code. So I'm going to use the pack code in it. The pack code in it, okay? Let, let me hit pack code so we can see what we need to pass on. And take a look, in it, in, uh, it's on Portuguese, sorry, but it starts a code app on the directory that I am at. So when we, we run pack code in it, we need to give a display name to our app. So pack, I don't know it's pack or PAC, I don't know exactly how to say it in English, okay? So the PAC code in it, display name is going to be my first code app, okay? My first code app. This is the name that I'm, I'm, I'm giving to the project. Hit enter here, take a look. When you do it, the powerconfig.json will be created right here. Take a look. You can see here, this file was just created. Okay, let's move forward. Let me close that. Let me close that also. I'm just clicking on the tabs here for no reason. Close this too, okay. So we did the, the PAC code in it. Now we can run locally. So. I know that here it's, it's, it's saying to run both of them, but I'm going to run npm run dev first. Just this one, okay, npm run dev. And when you run it, you're going to receive this link right here. I'm going to copy this link. I'm going to access this link. And here is it, our first, first code apps running local mode, okay? Local mode. Why this is important? Because if I go here to my environment, hit the refresh, 
we can see that the app is not here, okay? So what's going to be the development environment? Our, our desktop, we develop at our desktop locally and after testing it, we can move to the cloud, right? To the Power Platform environment. So let's develop something here. I, I can go here at the, the, I don't know, the main, uh, the app, TSX, and let's change something here. Instead of showing this text, I want to change something here. Let, let's change, for example, Power Platform is cool. Please subscribe to Ronan's Vico's channel and hit the thumbs up, okay? So let's change. I changed the text on my, my app. I'm going to save it. So I can just refresh the, the app and here is it. Please subscribe to Ronan's Vico channel. So I can like keep developing that, right? I can keep developing that, uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, here's it, you can see. Okay, I'm going to change it again. See my project. Every time I save here, I can see the new app on my browser, right? So let's say that I developed that, I tested it, it's everything okay. And of course, if you have like a copilot, GitHub, you can use the copilot to help you to develop this app, right? After you test it and know that it's time to publish, you can publish that to your Power Platform environment. So let's do it. What I'm going to do next is to run the following command. We're going to run the npm run build. And let's do it. I'm going to press again Ctrl C here to stop the npm. I'm going to npm run build. So it's going to run the build for production. And if we go here, we, we are not here yet because we need to run the command from Power Platform. That is pack code push. So we're going to push this code to the, the cloud, to the environment. So pack code push and saving the app. It's saving the app. If we refresh here, Take a look, my first code app is ready to go. The type of the app is code, okay? It is not a Canvas app, it is not a driven, a model-driven app, it's not Power Pages, it's a new type of Power Apps, okay? It's the Power Apps code apps. So I, I can click play and you will need, disclaimer here, you will need a premium license to run it, okay? Just to so you can know it, and here's it. It's at cloud, it's running at production. Pretty cool, right? So let's check here, the readme. Some some cool things here, it's the access to 1,500 connectors. We can connect to the co custom connectors, to the default connectors, to the premium connectors using the TypeScript. That's so cool, right? Always remember that is a preview feature so calm and relax. Do not start to use that on production, trying to use that on your clients because we don't know if this is stable yet. In my opinion, this is the future. I'm really excited to keep developing on this new platform, right? Using React, using TypeScript, but I will delay a little bit more. I will wait until it grows more mature, right? So I will wait a little bit more and I will bring more content like this to you in this channel. So consider to subscribe, hit the thumbs up so you get more content like this one. And if you watch this video completed to the end, please comment down below your feedback and also the word cell phone. Comment cell phone so I will know that you watch it to the end, it's a way of knowing who watched the video completed. And also leave your feedback. Do you think this is the future? Do you think that uh, that is not going to go further? I really want to know your feedback. In my opinion, this is the best thing that happens in the past months on the Power Platform because 
Having the power of code on our hands, we can develop anything that we have the creativity to, right? So let's do baby steps here and see in the next weeks, next months, what is going to be the result of this. Thank you so much for watching again. We we'll see you in another video, in another class, and please subscribe.